let's move on to question 6 in exercise 4D. So continuing from exercise 4D, this is exercise 4D, so let's do question 6A. So the question is sketch, you want to sketch y is equal to plus square root of 9 minus x squared. Now they have written plus with a reason. They don't need to write it, but this what this means is they are emphasizing that you want to find the positive square root of 9 minus x squared. So one thing that you can think here is uh, this doesn't look like any equation that you have learned, but if you do completing the square method, uh, sorry, if you square both sides, so if I square this side, I can square this side. Okay, so this will change to y squared is equal to 9 minus x squared. So this means this is x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 which is 3 squared. So basically you can write in the center radius form so this is x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to 3 squared. So we know this is a circle with center 0 0 and a radius of 3. But yeah this is not a complete circle. This is a part of the circle. So how would you figure that out? So what's the do uh, what is 9 minus x squared? You know 9 minus x squared has to be greater than equal to 0. Has to be greater than equal to 0. So if you move this to this side, you can say 9 is greater than x squared. So yeah, uh, so you can say x squared, sorry, x squared is less than or equal to 9. Now if x squared is less than or equal to 9, this means x is between minus 3 and plus 3. We have discussed this when we are doing solving linear equations. Sorry, I said linear equation, it was solving inequalities. Okay, so x is between minus 3 and plus 3. So if you think about it, let me draw the circle. And then, so if you draw the circle, this is the circle with center 0, 0 and the radius of 3. Okay. So let's think in a different way. So this is center 0, 0. And we know this is 3, 0. This is 0, 3. This is minus 3 comma 0. So from the graph also you can understand x is between minus 3 and plus 3. But here if you think about the equation, going back to the equation, what is the equation saying? The equation says y should be positive. y should be positive. So in this circle you have to only sketch that part where y value is positive. So well that is basically Okay, so let me go back. Okay, so basically let me do it again. So yeah, I don't want the negative part where y is. So basically I have to just draw this part of the circle. So this is where y is, if you look about, think about y, y is 0. Or if you think about this y, you can say y is always greater than or equal to 0. So this part of the circle or this semicircle is where your y values are always positive or zero. So this is what they are looking for. So let me show you how you can do this on the calculator. So basically, so this is not a square root graph, this is a circle, it's a semicircle. So let me open a new page, control doc and add a graph and just type in shift control control square root 9 minus x squared. So that is your semicircle. Okay, you can see that this is a semicircle where all your y values is e either 0 or 
positive. Okay, let's finish off with the next question. This is again from exercise 4D. Uh, this is question 6C. So you want to sketch y is equal to minus square root of 16 minus x squared. So the, to see that this is actually a circle but not the whole circle, let us square both sides. So if you square both sides, y squared is equal to 16 minus x squared. So what I've done is I've squared this side and this is basically minus 1 if you think about it. And then squaring this side this is going to be 16 minus x squared. So basically this is a circle with center 0, 0 and the radius of 4. So we can directly say this is the center 0, 0 and the radius of 4. But here we are thinking in a different way. We know this is a circle. So you know this is center 0, 0. This is center. So this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, this is 0, 0. So yeah, let's say this is minus 4, comma 0. And this is 4, comma 0. So this is the domain, or these are the x values. But y values has to be either 0 or negative. So this is this circle. So here you can understand this point is 0, comma minus 4. So this is a semicircle which is downwards. So let me confirm. So let's go again on calculator. Uh, press control. Uh, so you can go tab and type in control square root. Uh, you have to bring it minus, put a minus outside and uh, 16 minus x squared. The center, so that is your semicircle. You have a center 0, 0 and the radius of minus 4.